welcome back to the channel if you're new this is the realistic player career mode episode 14 with jesus fabianski enough time wasted enough chit chat i'll see everyone out there in the very first match all right today we are going to be looking for three passes in the opposition's half very easy target to get i'm not even worried about it it's gonna be leeds united versus middlesbrough fc i'm pretty excited about this match i really have nothing but high hopes for this one, and I truly do believe that we can get the win against Leeds United. Already with three step over moves and a quick shot. I believe in myself every time I come on the pitch, but it definitely is difficult to make sure that we win these matches. That's why I have a bit of a surprise, maybe in the middle of the episode, I'll show y'all, or maybe even after this match, you'll just have to wait and see. But I do have a surprise on what team We'll be going to next. Now look at Jesus. Made the guy miss and a good step over him. Good step as well. Using that pace now. Looking for the cross. I don't see him. Handball. Handball for sure. I'm going to play this one in. Good cross. Ball in. Ball way out of bounds from McCready. It did this last time. So if my camera's a bit out of sync, my apologies. Don't even focus on my face down there. Just focus on the game because at least the game will be on cue. And of course, no surprise, it's gonna be 2-0 already in this match. And honestly, I have, I have no aspirations here at this team. We're so garbage. I really thought that we were gonna be, you know, hopeful. I didn't think we would be in the Premier League anyways. That's probably why I thought it was gonna be a bit more of a hopeful season. But of course, in the Premier League, anybody and everybody can whoop your backside. So. Apparently, that's what we've been dealing with so far. So hopefully, Jesus can make a great play. And he just can't right now. And there it is again. A third goal on the day. And if I don't score this next possession, I'm just going to sim out. I don't want to waste everybody's time. And um, today, we're getting our ass whooped. Bad. It's nothing new, though. We've seen it multiple times before. And um, hopefully, we can just keep prevailing, moving forward. Jesus! Oh my days. A tough angle. And believe me, a tough shot as well. There we go. Look at Jesus hustling. Keep letting it go. Keep letting it go. Yep, good run. D off. What? Bro, D off. That shot was horrible. It's like I don't even got players that want to strike the ball anymore for me. And it really hurts to watch. It really does. I might even make my dude a striker. Because this is ridiculous. Okay, yellow card, and it's about that time. Finally, Jesus Fabianski can get off the pitch. Do not go nowhere because we have a great match against Arsenal for our second match in the episode. Hopefully, hopefully we can defy all odds, come out here and get the victory against the Gooners. I'll see everyone in our next match, hopefully with the victory. We are at the home ground. The River Stand Arena, I'm pretty sure it's called. Let me know down below in the comments if I got that wrong. So, here we are. I'm going to be looking for two shots on target today. Hopefully two goals. Because I do have a scout from Milan looking to boost our rewards, boost our scores. And look at that kid. I'm not sure if that's... Um, I'm not sure who they have in net today, but look at his kit. That is ridiculous. Blinding me already. Good pass. What a cross. Ah... Trying to work on that weak foot. That's definitely his kryptonite, essentially, that right foot. So hopefully we can just keep it on the left and make the best of what we can work with. We know what time it is. I still haven't got those two shots on target. I haven't had any opportunities to even look for a shot. It's going to be tough for sure to get this win, but all we need is one goal. That's it. Just one goal. Kai Havertz. Good touch. And there it is. Good play. Beautiful. Azaz. Smith on the run. And a quick touch from Jesus. Looking to move it. There it is. Come on. Keep moving it. Keep moving it. Bro, why? I swear, every time they do these back heels, it makes me just want to sim to the end of the season and get off this team. Their IQ is so low on the pitch. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, why a back heel? Why not just look for the target? Of course, Kai Havertz. Another one and another great shot right to the back of the net. I mean, come on, bro. It's starting to get to that point where it's just, it's just not even fun. 
you know? But of course, you have to be on a trash team here and then. But I've been dealing with it for two seasons. Quick touch from Heisu. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shoot it, Azaz! But you know, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm not the gaffer. I'm not the coach. Offside. Guess not. Guess not. Kai Havertz here today absolutely destroying us. Has the brace. And it's looking like he's going to have the win as well. Lord. Look at Mendy. On my heels. Quick touch. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Turn around. Good play. We're going to need to really work it here. He's got his beat to the sideline. So we come back inside. Ref. Please, please, force. Got to slide. Let's go. What's the call? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was about to say, bro, what? Like, I thought we was finna keep playing. How was that their ball? Yeah, bro, I'm over it, man. I'm over it. Middlesbrough has no pull in the Premier League. Their should be in the championship. And it's just amazing to me how the hell they got up here. It's amazing to me how they got promoted. To be promoted, you gotta be top four, right? This team isn't top four of anything, bro. It's crazy to me. Like, I try and use my teammates. I try and do everything I need to. But it just turns out to not be that way every single time. Ah, oh, disappointing. I mean, I had to look for the shot. You don't get too many opportunities, especially against a good team like Arsenal. So, you got to take them when you get them. And right there, it was a glorious miss. And Kai Havertz today, the reason, pretty much, we got demolished. A brace on the day, really not what you want to see, especially being on this team. And um, I mean, it's nice to see because I like them, but. <laughs> oh yeah, that's game. That is game. Gabriel Jesus runs down there, pulls out one of the better moves I've seen all match. Quick ball roll and a quick easy finesse shot to the right side of the net. Wow. I'm not even sure if we'll make it to Milan because my teammates are so trash. I really have to focus on getting goals and getting inside the box goals to be more specific. All right, everybody. I'll see all y'all in our last match, or maybe not. We'll have to see against Manchester United. I'll see everyone when it's time. And here we are at Old Trafford, a great venue, the theater of dreams, they call it. Today, we are looking for a 50% rate on the passing, and I truly do feel like we can win today. As long as we move the ball around and move it to the right positions, we'll get the victory. We will get the victory. But it's lagging just a bit for some reason. Dang. How is an offline game lagging? And look at this dude, bro. Mm, I'm over it. I'm so aggravated, bruh. We can't even make a play. And here goes Casemiro, Greenwood. I could have sworn they had Anthony. Bruno Fernandes. Good play. Mephit. Thank you. Good play. Mina, outside. Let's work it outside, Azaz. What a cross. Oh, Martinez just makes the play. I thought Emmanuel was going to be able to jump up there and get that one out the air. No way that's our record. Seven losses, one draw, eight matches played away from home. We have the worst record away from home. The worst. Wow. I swear, Diang is the only keeper we have that has a chance of winning this match. Has a chance, bro. Look at this. Own goal. Own goal. Get it away, Diang. Come on, Diang. Let's move it. Let's move it. Let's move it. To the right. To the right. Bro, this dude is just in his own world. And of course, Jaden Sancho, good play. Look at him running in the pitch. Fernandes, looking for the play. Greenwood, back to Bruno Fernandes. Now working it, a quick pass inside to Sancho. And of course, is that Tony Abraham? It might be. Of course he scores on us with ease. I mean, come on, fellas. Bruno Fernandes crossed the middle to Sancho in a quick one-time shot into the back of the net this is gonna be the last match of the episode um i just i mean come on i just can't even i can't even fathom what's going on right now good touch good touch it is ultimate difficulty but i'm not afraid wow onana should have let that one go i had no chance 
at all of scoring that one. Let's be for real. Good cross, maybe. Not good enough. Sancho, he thought he had one, but Mina says otherwise. Good pass now from Jesus. Come on, Emmanuel. Run, run. Good turn. Good turn from Jesus. And what a pass. It's got to be Latte Love. Wait a minute. He sucks, though, of course. Oh, my. Come on, fellas. Show me the win. Who wants it? Who wants the win? Show me the win right now. Show me the win. That might be the title of this one. Because my teammates haven't shown me jack. Thank you. I'm trying to play my area. But look at this man, bro. How are you that garbage? Abraham, of course. And Leinhan had to come over and make the play. Or else it would have been 2-0 on the day. Quick cross. And way to, way to get it out. Way to get it out. Good touch. Hey, suit handball. No way Tony Abraham shooting that. Thank you, dang. They got me at risk of subbing out, and I do not blame them today. But I don't know who the hell they would put on a pitch. Over. It's over today, bro. Tony Abraham. It's just like you get a brace. You get a brace. You all get a brace. Everybody gets a brace playing against us, bro. Everybody. It doesn't matter if you're tall, if you're short, if you're fast, if you're slow, if you got a shot, if you don't, if you got skills or if you don't. It doesn't matter, bro. Anybody can come out here and score a goal. I'm surprised McGuire hasn't came up the pitch and scored one on us. Gosh, man, it's just crazy. You know, it's a video game, and I know you got to go through the woes and the troubles of life to make it to the very top and truly be grateful for the position you're in. So best believe, when I get my back to Italy, I'm staying at Milan for about four or five years. That's going to be the best chance I have of winning anything in my career. And look at Anthony right back at me, letting me know that Man United has enough wingers to take my ass down south to Italy. Thank you, Dioff. Can we get one goal here, fellas? Just one. Just one, bro. Big fat zero. I think we scored zero goals today. Zero of them things. So, you know exactly what that means for Jesus Fabianski. Absolutely squat. Did not do nothing this match. As a matter of fact, I'm very disappointed in the way he played. And the team, matter of fact. So, I will see everyone back at the main menu with the episode recap. Not much to... Not much to recap, but at least we can look forward to see how it's looking. And also, I have a bit of a surprise, so stay tuned, and I'll see everyone back at the main menu. A very sad day for Middlesbrough FC. We see exactly where we stand. 19th place in the whole Premier League. So, let's go to the very top. It looks like Man City finally took a loss. That's amazing. Spurs and Man City are the only two teams right now that have a chance at winning that Premier League title. I mean, once they keep winning and, and keep pulling forward, you see there's only one loss, two losses between those two teams, three losses there in total. So it's going to be very tough to catch those teams lacking, especially for us. I don't even know if we'll be able to come back and make a push for the top of the table, given that we're about to have 18 matches left which is about I mean that's like 74 points something like that 77 points we could come back and and really make a big splash you know but this is what I'm looking forward to mostly so we see exactly what we're working on right now with Middlesbrough FC what we want to be focusing on though is our AC Milan contract I mean so far we've already got matches in the starting 11 we have to just get 13 goals in order to get the base contract. But of course, I'm trying to get the most money. Why not? We need inside the box goals. Not that many. I think maybe 20, 25, which is a lot of goals. Yes, it is a lot of goals. But I'm not too worried about it at all either. One player of the month five times. We're definitely not getting that. So we probably won't get all the money. But guess what? I'm not really too worried. It's just about going to this team, really performing well and making the best out of the situation with the cards that were dealt, essentially. That's pretty much what we're doing here at Middlesbrough. But look at the teams that want me. Fulham, uh, Wolves, Brentford, Florentina. I'm pretty sure this is in um, uh, Italy as well, and Crystal Palace. Those are five teams that are being recommended to me that I can pretty much go to right now, I think. So with that being said, I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. If you enjoyed, drop a like down below and subscribe. For more uploads just like this. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. It's been Frank on the pitch with Jesus Fabianski.